new to my boss accounting software introductory video to get you started with my boss accounting software before you can start entering data you need to create a business in my boss accounting software a business is an accounting entity it can represent a company partnership trust fund organization or a sole trader step 1 create a new business to create new business Go to Businesses tab at the top. To add a new business, click Add Business button, then select Create New Business. Unlike other accounting systems, my boss doesn't require a long interview process to set up a business. It's very simple. Enter business name, then click Add Business button. That's all. After you create a new business, it will automatically open for you. Step 2. Many of my boss's capabilities are not needed by all user types, nor are they necessary for every business model or operating approach. Select only those capabilities needed by enabling tabs for individual modules. Necessary entry forms, data fields, and reports to fully use enabled modules will become available automatically. Enabling tabs. When a new business is created in my boss, Four tabs are enabled and visible in the left navigation pane by default. These cannot be disabled, because they are needed by all businesses. To add capabilities, click on the blue link pointed to by the red arrow. A list of available modules appears. Check boxes next to desired tabs. Then click update at the bottom of the page. Active tabs will appear in the left navigation pane. The number of records of each type will show in boxes to the right of tab names. Step 3. Changing language. If you prefer to work with my boss in a language other than English, you can easily switch language. Click Preferences tab. Click the English US link under the language label. Change from English US to your preferred language. Click the Update button. Now you should see the program in your selected language. Setting date and number formats. In my boss, you can customize both date and number formats to match your cultural or local business standards. Date options include day, month, and year format and order. Number options include thousands, hundreds, and decimal separator indicators and placement. In the top menu bar, click on preferences. To set date formats, click on the blue date on the next screen. From the drop-down box that appears, choose your format and click Update. To change number formats, click on the blue number example. Select your desired format from the drop-down box and click Update. Step 4. Changing reporting period and setting up lock date. By default, account balances are shown for all transactions entered in my boss. This is generally what you need but once you have used my boss for more than a single accounting period, for example financial year, you should customize this screen so the profit and loss statement reflects your current accounting period. Click set period button on summary tab select the reporting period you prefer to see figures for in your summary. Click update button to apply changes. Summary tab will now show figures for the selected period. Setting lock date. In my boss, closing an accounting period is not required, but you can lock accounting periods to prevent any changes. Go to Settings. Click Lock Date. Set Lock Date and click Update button. Now if you try to edit or delete any transaction dated on or before lock date, you will see a notice. You can temporarily remove the lock date if you need to edit or delete a transaction. Enter the lock date again when you have completed the changes to previously locked transactions. Lock date is useful in multi-user editions of my boss to prevent restricted users from modifying transactions in a locked period. You should ensure the lock date feature is disabled for restricted users to prevent them from unlocking the period. Step 5. Now you can create your customers, suppliers, inventory and start entering transactions. 